All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Back here with Diablo 4. This is chapter 25. Hello, AB. I hope you're well today. What happened to Moggin's Folly? Moggin's Folly used to be a Zakarum fort, a foothold for our efforts. But it was lost generations ago. My master, Johanna, gathered a group of crusaders to take it back. To begin our trek back into the swamp in search of Akarat, but... But it didn't go as they had hoped. Some returned, wounded. Some, like my master, did not return at all. If you hadn't helped me, her name would have been lost forever. Johanna, you made it back safely. Ah, it's good to see you again. Yes, I am as safe as can be expected in these swamps. I was barely able to give the Crusaders proper rights before the bodies began to turn. It was fortunate that I remembered what my friend Zrinka said about burning bodies. I think Akarat would forgive me for not abiding by all of the proper rituals. What will he do now? Hmm, a fair question. One that I myself have been wondering. I see our people struggling. I hear them talking, their faith wavering. I want to help, but... Uh, I fear that our struggle is in part due to our faith. We refuse to learn, to adapt. You saw Morgan's works. You saw where our faith led us. I hope that our faith can change, as I have, and we can make a home of the swamp. I don't know how, but at least for now, it means having drinks with friends. No, oh, that's good to hear. I'm good too. My week was uh, decent. Long, but decent. When we last left off, we unlocked uh, World Tier 4, so the highest World Tier difficulty. Uh, everything's a little above our level right now. 75 plus um, We're just gonna roll with it. We're gonna see what's happened we're level 68 right now, but we're about halfway to 69. So that's cool Up in the world tier did add some new stuff. So there's some more layers um, There's another capstone dungeon echo of hatred level 100 plus We probably won't ever get to that, but we'll see Feral's den up there Oh, that's a layer, right? No. That's just a uh, dungeon. Right, because I'd never seen a layer up in uh, Karagar. Or, sorry, Skazgum. Uh, Kid Bardu, there was a couple of them. Hall of the Pendant, which we had already been in. And then there's one all the way down here, gaping uh, crevice. And then for Hawazar, we already have this one, the Malignant Burrow. And I'm sure there's going to be more as we... Uh, progress through but that's what our plan is for today i want to finish up exploration there is what one two three four five six regions left to finish in Hawazar before the map's fully uncovered and done uh so we're going to start in this one right here blight marsh finish exploring it out obviously there's some dungeons there uh Timune is there so a bunch of quests to convene on and then some other quests as well then we're going to go from there. Huh. I'm just going to do exactly that. I want to finish up exploring the last little bit of Hawazar. So all these regions here. Work on some quests. And uh, yeah, let's go from there. We'll uh, track at any cost for now. And I'll teleport to the ruins of Frakat. Because then we can just kind of ride in there. Alright, get our horse. Yeah, we're, we're gonna get wailed on a little bit here, but I'm hoping I can kind of prevail and push through it. If we absolutely have to, I, um, 
we can turn the world tier back down, but it's just going to be more of a hindrance than anything. Let me look around here first. Okay, so this is all explored out now, basically. Let me pop an elixir here. We got weak crushing elixir. Increase overpowered damage by 20% and experience by 5 for half an hour. We have to find the refugee marked by giant tusks. Jesus Christ, that just dropped two. Two, uh. Oh my god. Alright, I'm gonna have to be a little careful here. Let me focus up. I just dropped two legendaries, though. My very first chest of the day. Strange refuge. We're we're gonna get whaled on. I'm probably gonna die a whole bunch here. No, it's all good. It was just uh, funny. Slay the wildlife. Like our damage output is good. It's the damage we're gonna take. It's our defense that's gonna be shitty. Investigate the campsite. Two simple cots lay covered in dust. No one has used these recently. A few putrid scraps of meat and are stuck to the ruined pot. What we got over here? Small collection of mostly used candles. There's nothing here. No clue. No hint of Simon. Or Elias. Oh, here. Here. What? Speak. Yeah. What? Who are you? It has been long, long. I followed him, hunted him for Rathma. Can show you old spell. My head, take it, will resist warned. All right. Jesus. Bro hit me once and did half my damage. Or half my health. Um, right now it's going to be super hard because the, um, the levels are much higher than I am. But the issue is if I go back down to the, the last world tier, I'm not going to fight anything, um, at a higher level than me. So I'm not going to gain a whole lot of experience and I won't level up fast and I'm not going to find good gear. Hold on a second. Let me look at what we picked up here. Because I forgot that we're actually going to find better shit now. So I'm going to have to actually look at stuff. So here we got the Opportunist Flamered. It's an Ancestral Legendary Sword. 789 attack item power. Uh, 1100 damage per second. Do, 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 do. Let's go ahead and throw that on. We also have the Vengeful Loop, a Sacred Legendary Ring. That I'm going to leave off. That's our first ancestral piece of equipment, though. Begin the ritual. You can dispense with the absurd disguise, Elias. It cannot hide what I know lies within. Why do you pursue me? What do you hope to achieve? Your end, Elias. For you tamper with powers you don't understand and will doom us all with your arrogance. And 
I will act in accordance with my master's wishes. Rathma ignored Sanctuary in his life and death. I would save it. You will bring ruin. I will bring your ruin. Elias, are you still... accurate? What happened? An assassin. I warned you our journey would be difficult. Come. We must leave now if we mean to reach backwater in daylight. If Simon and Elias ventured the backwater, then so too shall I. So too shall I. What's your cash, nice? Gotta accidentally turn that off. Um, but yeah. Generally, it's not gonna be much harder. Uh, a lot more bigger enemies, and the bigger enemies are gonna be tougher, but... The whole curve is just gonna be right now. Trying to, like, everything's gonna be 75 plus. And, like I said, I'm only level 68, right? So... A lot of cultists in these swamps. Right, so we have to look for the clearing in the corpse wall to lodge. I figured it would be up here. Place the grotesque head in the offering bowl and then light the mossy torches. Probably gonna have to fight something here in a second. Um, I would say I'm close to 90%. I feel like there's not a whole lot left. Mind you, saying like I only have 10% left, there's still hours to do, but... Zerk the healer, Yolanda has sent me for a remedy to gut rot. Wejinani's always been fine without me. Must be truly dire to send you, huh? I guess someone's near to dying. <laughs> and look, you brought a gift. Never thought those villagers capable. You wins, but the smell, but the smell is good, heavy with secrets. Ah, not heavy enough to save anyone, though. I don't mind helping you, but I'll need something else. Of course you will. Get the eyes out of Nuroth the Vile Fang's head. No promises, but I'll try. Point me in the direction, I'll cut this head off. Why are you interested in the head from Wijahani? Painters, why they're interested in pigment, or, or sculptors, why they like rocks? Of course not. Death, rot. The villagers think I'm low for my obsession, but I understand what they're always ignoring. The way the flesh frays when you're near the end. What hope does Yolanda have? If she were here, I could guess. But she isn't. <laughs> That's fair. Slay Nuroth the Vile Fang, claim his oversized snake eyes. She's down the down the way. What was that? He's right there. I accidentally hit the wrong button. That's fine though. I'm not ready. Don't have enough energy. Ah, uh, getting frozen in spot isn't, though. Fuck. <clears throat> um, we'll go back to destroy all humans, too, because I kind of want to finish that up. Alright, let me focus up here for a second, though. Thank you. To ah! Wow. Uh... <laughs> I 
Well, that's him right there. He's dead. Nice. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna we're gonna need a tracker. Get rid of all these assholes too. I'm pretty sure the uh, that one that was glowing purple was kind of in the the way too. So he had a health buff. Ooh, ooh. Place the eyes there in the dead animal. Take the rotten heart to your land. It makes its own fungus, stronger than anything the villages would make. If she's not dead yet. This'll kill off anything wriggling in her gut. Alright, we got the moldy heart. Let's bring the heart mold to Yolanda. Hopefully that will help her. I'm just gonna teleport from here, though. That way I can teleport back. To Wedgehani we go. I gotta remember to like constantly check the uh, the blacksmith too while we're um, visiting, because I'm gonna have to constantly repair my gear, obviously, just so I don't forget and end up. You know. uh, I need that out of there, but I don't have a jeweler. Unfortunately, the fires burn so low at Ariman's fire. Perhaps the ash has some use that could turn that place of destruction into a place of restoration. Remains of Kelv. The abdomen of the guard's corpse looks to have suffered a massive rupture and shows signs of being devoured from the inside. <clears throat> Yolanda, I've brought the remedy. Make sure to keep it down. That was... Uh, what was in that? Light, don't tell me. But... Uh, I, I can feel... Uh, they're moving less. The pain subsiding. If Calf had listened to me, we lost him. He had the good sense to die without infecting anyone. Little though it may comfort his children. Well, at least we saved Yolanda, right? What will you do now, Yolanda? Make Zurk explain this remedy to me. Did he tell you how to make it so potent? I'll have to go knocking on his door, won't I? And no head to smooth the way. Before that, however... I'll rest. Nearly dying is exhausting. Um, but yeah, no, I after D4 I wanna do um <clears throat> uh destroy all humans too. Go back to that. Cause we started that like a couple years ago now. <laughs> and you know, I've just been sitting on it, so I kinda wanna go back and finish it. Uh, I currently have 12 health potions. There are ways to increase the limit, but you can't do it yourself. Um, so, for example, as I'm clearing out areas, you get bonuses for clearing a certain amount. And the, the second bonus is plus one potion capacity. So I actually have five more potions than you know I normally would if I didn't have this much cleared out. So that's nice. Besides that, though, I th think that's pretty much it. I don't remember if there's any other way to get uh, more potions. Probably by items, I would imagine. Certain gears and stuff.
our first dungeon here, the uh, Serpent Slayer. We have to travel to the hunting grounds. Yeah, until we catch up and level, this is going to be a little, little rough, but we'll get there. Well, I appreciate it. I enjoy playing game and, you know, talking to people, right? So That's why every once in a while you'll see me pop on with a random stream and I'll just be playing like a random game doing whatever. That's just because I figured, hey, I might as well stream it in case anyone wants to come chill and you know, talk as I play. have to be using my like ultimate skill a lot more until I get better gear and more levels. Collect animus from animus carriers. Of course. Yeah. Pretty much use all my uh, all my resources here. But yeah, there was a list I made a little while ago. A little while being a while, but... <clears throat> anyways, long story short, there was a list that I made that, um... Of just games I wanted to, uh... To stream. And, um... I want to get through that list, obviously. I still have it. I have the games list. <clears throat> Um, but yeah, I want to get through that list and stream all the games that I said I was going to. That's not what I wanted to see, by the way. And I'm trapped. Oh, fuck. This is gonna hurt. I'm not even really concerned about doing this for mastery. I just want to not die. And they bring out the big boys. gonna see a lot of that. Well, it threw me across the dungeon too, what the hell? Um, yeah, I don't remember all the games off top from that list, but like I said, I do have it written down somewhere, so... This is gonna be a it's gonna be a long stream. Bro, these fucking spikes too, man. Energy. 
We're almost halfway to 69, though. Another Paragon point. That almost killed me, that one attack. That's the same attack I got hit with by that uh, boss creature that we were hunting on the other quest. That just laid me out. to kill him in that volley because I had my uh, my ability. I didn't want to waste it. Thought I'd be quick enough to just get by it, but nope. Just hope I don't run into the butcher today. <laughs> Saying that, I already know I was gonna see him. Should be one more Animus Carrier left. I disagree, game. I do not think I got hit by that. Don't have enough energy. I need more time. This fire is a nuisance. And the other thing that sucks too is all my resistances are down. Fuck, I got hit by it. All my resistances are down by 50%, I think it is. So. Oh, fuck off. <clears throat> Four deaths, and it's been half an hour. Right, let's get out of this area. The boss is going to be annoying. <clears throat> Travel to the shadowed depths. Destroy the ward of eyes. There's three of them.
but there's two of them. No, that's uh Yeah. That's right, obviously, but now that you mention it, I do remember. I'm looking forward to most of the, well, all of them, really. Hitman 2, I've played before. Hitman 2, Silent Assassin, I don't like it, but I figured we might as well. We don't have any gameplay of that on my channel. Lorecroft, Temple of Cyrus, I think I've played. The rest of them I haven't. Well, Metro 2033 I have, but I played the remake. Because it came out with the Redux version. Um, I don't know exactly when actually, but it was years after the fact. And I've played uh, 2033 and Last Light, as well as Exodus actually. I'm excited for seeing that as well and playing it. I'm just gonna wait a second. Or I'm at least gonna pull this shit out of the room. One hit me, man. One hit. <clears throat> that attack is so crazy. <laughs> Fucking jumped the wrong way on that attack. Can I move, please? Thank you. I'm stubborn, so just this guy's gonna be a pain in the ass. Thank you. I'll check that in a second. The Adventurer's Helm of Lethal Dusk. It's not better, though, sadly. Meeny, meeny, miny, mo. Yeah, I figured they all wrapped around. That's lovely. Pull them back for a second here. Be a little bit more waiting around than we're used to.
Because until I get, uh, you know, a bit closer in level, I'm going to need more, uh, to use more of my stuff. Weaker ac weak acrobatics elixir. Reduce the cooldown of our evade by 8%. That's huge. <clears throat> I haven't played it. I've heard about it. It looks good. That I disagree with. The fucking thing wasn't even on me. <clears throat> nice. Let's get out of that. Didn't just spawn up there, dude. All right, Mr. Skellymans. <clears throat> you and me. And some walls, apparently. See, like I said, my my damage is good. Like, I can hang when it comes to my damage output. It's just... Taking the damage is just insane. Yeah, I, I kind of want to play Takes 2. I feel like it'd be fun. I played, um, what was it called? A Way Out? The other split screen game? The other, but another split screen game. I played it with a couple of my friends. One of them was SWAT, actually. Alright, um, yeah. We're done here. Thankfully, that dungeon was small. Only got my my butt kicked a few times there. <clears throat> okay, let's. We're gonna have to go back to Zarbinzet. I need to repair my shit. I need to get a whole bunch of things underway. But pretty much after every dungeon, especially if I'm gonna be dying like that, I need to head to a blacksmith. Make sure I get my stuff repaired. Well, I don't need the healer. <laughs> That's where all my gold's gonna go to, watch. I do need the jeweler down here though. <clears throat> Cause I wanna take out that gem. So we can now blow, break down this sword. I can still use these. Is there anything else I wanted? No. Let's uh, head to Timune first before I do the next dungeon. Obviously, there's a town there. Altar there. <clears throat> Maximum obols was increased. It's always nice. <laughs> Look at this. I got fucking three quests and one I can get from her. <clears throat> All right. Let's start with uh, past regrets. I'm looking for uh Thaisa's amulet. You mean Thaisa sent you for it because she does not want to come herself? Hmm. What does she need with that amulet anyway? Is she in some kind of trouble? Well, um 
Ah. She told you to keep quiet. Do not worry. I will not make you break your promise. Her things are over in that trunk. Just where she left them. Mew, can you tell me about this crimson herb? Oh, you shouldn't be touching things like this. Do you even know what this is? Unbelievable. Do you have no sense? Well, perhaps he didn't recognize it. Most don't bother to consider how someone like me becomes like this. Not until it's too late. It's easier to think it a punishment for some imagined problem or some other such nonsense. Those who believe that do so for their own comfort. To distance themselves. To say that this could never happen to them. But we are all just one little thing. One moment. One little red sprig away from harm. Remember that, and you will always have compassion. Do you want this vial of curious venom? What is it now? A curious kind of venom from the Nangari. I see. You know, this is their place. We all came here from elsewhere. Not them, no. Even I don't know how long they've been here. Or how they came to be. This venom is clear, because the Nangari it came from is about to begin molting. Or at least it was, I assume. You must have killed it. Yes. Of course. Perhaps the seasonal molt will begin soon. It's said to be lucky to keep some in your house. But it's only lucky if it's not full of parasites. That's what I always say. Tamil, are you alright? Ah, I'll be fine. Just wore myself out. Packing to visit my neighbors. They've got it worse than me. Poor souls. Infected, forsaken. Left to wander the swamp until it takes them. Since you're here, help an old woman. Take these supplies to Baridan, Duraya, and Raldine. Treat them kindly, or the swamp will hear of it. What is this infection? It begins with the scratch of a tiny thorn. The flesh is opened. And the swamp flows in. Probably that thing we picked Slowly. up, the crimson sprig. Painfully, it grows inside until the swamp is all that you are. Interesting. All right, well, we competed, competed, completed a couple quests here. We got a herb and elixir. We'll take our supplies. I don't know what we need that for. Uh, it's red. Scrap of paper. Next to a book titled Legends of the Bog is a note covered in shaky handwriting. The wedding of tree and serpent. What a ridiculous story. The tree could not have come to sanctuary. From where, then? Stack of old... <clears throat> excuse me. A stack of old tomes with faded and fraying spines. The oldest and thickest reads, The Roots and the Tree. How is ours beginning and end? Yeah, I like red and black. My favorite colors. Um, open this up. That's that one. Yeah. Crusader Bolt is that one. Let's 
find Baird and Dura and Wildlin. Light blue is a nice color. <clears throat> you can go with a lot of colors. That's the nice thing about it. You must be Dura. I have some flies from Tamu. Herbs for the pain. <coughs> I'll find my own herbs, thank you. Cure myself and leave this swamp for good. Good luck for that. You can take that shite to Baradon. He'll swallow it gladly. Never strays far from the old hag's hut. As for Weldine, who knows? And not his mother. Uh, tigers are my favorite animal. I've always liked tigers. Find them to be fascinating creatures. And I mean, they're just giant kitty cats, right? So. Who doesn't like a nice cat? <clears throat> well, nice might be a interesting choice of words. I'm... <clears throat> yes. Yes, I'm still better than. Thank you. And think them away for me. Without these herbs, the days pass like years. I'm so sorry. Don't be. This place can be rather peaceful. What about your favorite animal? Once you get to know it. What's your favorite animal, AB? Enough of that. You should try to visit Roldin in the northeast. He's a good boy. Roldin in the northeast. for my brother he's sick too i've not seen him in days i was afraid he'd grown roots they, they attacked me tried to take me somewhere one of them mentioned the camp by the coast if they took my brother there's fucking one enemy that's hiding behind me to it. I'm not even hiding just waiting there all right find the bandits camp uh no thank you Go to Timu's hut for a second. Uh, we do have deer in Canada. We also have moose, elk, and such. Set up to the Tree of Whispers. Meet with Tysia. <coughs> but yeah, deer are nice. Anything up? I did pick a couple things up. Can still use these. Here's your amulet. Did Tim Awake give you any trouble? No. Good. Good. Now. Ah, wait. I forgot the Nangari eyes. A thousand curses. I cannot focus anymore. Will you help me gather some? Of course. <laughs> Fine. Collect oracle eyes from Nagar Nangari oracles. In this area, of course. Uh, the issue is... I won't have a way to get back there. If I do. <sighs> that sucks. Alright, let's do it. I'll just have to ride back. Their maximum obols. Oh, do they all these guys have fucking... Hold on, holy shit. Hold on a second. I, I, I got slaughtered. 
Yeah, they're nice, but I- holy fuck. What kind of spawn is this? Hang on, hang on. Um, yeah, they're nice, but they're like any other animal, right? They can be, uh, a nuisance. button there. As soon as I seen him lunge, man. The one I pick a fight with has a, uh, has a champion with them. And this fucking tree is in my way, too. <laughs> Damn, I was really hoping they'd drop one. back. Let's go back. <laughs> I don't know. It's a possibility. But I myself have, a, have an accent too. Like, obviously, like, being from Canada, but just with my ethnicity and stuff, so. What happens now? Now, to summon my fellow witches inside the conclave. Where is this conclave? Right before us. Stand back. Thorn and Root who guard the path, who have tasted my blood. I'm gonna use the blacksmith before we go in there. To open the way. Enter the Eldritch Conclave. Oh, excuse me. Alright. Speak with Tysia. Where are the witches? If we are lucky, the witches will come when I start the ritual. But they are not always so keen on doing what they are told. All we can do is try and hope. I have placed the Nangari eyes in four of the braziers. Do not worry about the fifth one. That belonged to Valtha. On my word, light the flames. All right. Now. Brothers and sisters of the swamp, I thank you for heeding my call. 
I... I need... What? Spit it out! I am plagued by a demon and the memories she brings forth. How do I purge them? It is very simple. You've let your mind wander. Let the memories consume you. Put your idle hands to work, commit to your craft, and soon you will forget all about this nonsense. Oh, no, no, no. This is a question of will. You must wrestle these thoughts into submission. Lock them away in a place from which they will never return. I have never seen more fools gathered in one place. <laughs> no! The ritual! You broke the seal team away. Why did you disrupt the ritual? Because we all know it won't work for Teresa. You wish to rid yourself of a demon? You won't find an answer from the mouths of these witches or in that tea you brew. I already know that. I tried. It didn't work. Of course not. It can help an old man heal from the loss of a child, yes. But you are plagued by more than just grief. You must face your fears. So, tell me. Where is the last place you want to be? With Andariel, where it all began. Then that is the path you must walk. Now go. The first step is always the hardest. Just remember, you control how tight the chains are. Taisa, whatever lies ahead, I'll be at your side. Then... Perhaps I have a chance to see it through. Meet me at my tower. I will prepare everything. Oh god. We're gonna fight in Dariel, aren't we? Good old D2. Series of steps. Speak with Tyessa. Ah, uh, and that's what I was worried of, was the Helltide coming into this area. Thankfully, I'm not... <clears throat> excuse me. Thankfully, I'm not exploring this area, so it shouldn't really affect me. But I can only imagine the pain I would feel. <clears throat> Are you ready to face your fears? I don't know, but I will try. You should know that this ritual will be dangerous for both of us. If you are still willing to join me, stare into the flames. Let them carry you into my memories. Appear into the ritual frame. <laughs> frames. Add two flames. <clears throat> All right, accompany Tyessa to Elias's sanctum. Definitely keep that in mind, maybe. Elias's study is just ahead. What happened here? This is where they caught me trying to kill Elias. If I had been more careful, I could have ended it here. Now, what should we do with this little rat we've trapped? Okay, I'm just gonna wait a second for everything to charge back up. Um, but yeah, no, I've learned more Hava, Gule Gule, and some other stuff too. <clears throat> T 
Temple of the Primes. Company tasked to the Altar of Sacrifice. When they carried me inside, I tried to run, but I couldn't make it. Been a long time since we've been here. Altar of Sacrifice. This is where we found you. Yes. I thought I'd been saved. But then I heard her laughing. Not outside of me. From within me. Your fate was sealed from the first sigil I inked into your flesh. Of course he has the fucking fire. Just got out of there. <laughs> Blasted scarp. This place. No, I cannot do this. I will lose myself to her. We have to face her. I feel her stirring within. Just like that day. Her hands closing around my mind. Like chains. Of course, the one has a fucking fire. Oh, did you see that? Bro, I stepped up and got fucking brutalized. The fuck was that? I took one step and instantly died. I must have got hit by that. Well, that too, the multi shot. Yeah. This is this is gonna be a brutal fight. Guilt, self-loathing, and failure. It's pretty much just the memory of guilt that's really fucking me here. Um, but yeah, no, it's funny that you say that, because I'm sure I will notice some things in Mirage that I'll be like, hey, I remember AB talking about this. It was the same sort of thing with um, uh, Unity, because I do know some French. So anytime, you know, French would come up, I'd be like, hey, I know that. I'm going to have to... Rely heavily on my traps here. And just try not to get hit. Fuck. So they got greedy there. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Unity was the same way. Anytime they were speaking French, I could at least kind of follow along. And some other games too, you would hear a little bit of French. Instantly, it's that fucking attack she's doing. It, it's her basic attack because it fires three. It hits me three times and kills me. <sighs> Bro. I don't know if I can teleport out of here to even fucking, like, fix my gear. Well, hopefully I can. It seems like I can. I'm gonna have to wait, though, for my shit to come back. I might literally just run around for, like, four minutes dropping all my, uh, my traps. I don't think I can fight the... At least until two of them is dead. Because the succubus is what's outright killing me. But also the balrog is doing a lot of damage too. 
I should wait for another elixir too, or just pop one now, I guess. No point waiting. I got trapped. Fucking hell. <laughs> well, that's good at least. I mean, I'll be able to understand some of it. Fucking self loading was almost dead too. That sucks. Molly walked. That's bad. Be careful here because <clears throat> of that. Fuck! Bro, it was fucking dead, man. Come on. Son of a bitch. I'm really trying my best not to just like literally put down traps and run around for 10 minutes. <laughs> Thank God. You know what? I don't even care. <laughs> Two down, one to go. This is so stupid. I should not be doing this right now. Why? Bro, I stopped attacking for some reason. I don't fucking know why. Yeah. 
killed Elias in Gulran. If I had been quicker, smarter. But I wasn't. I wasn't. Better be some good fucking armor, that's all I'm saying. It's not even that good. That was brutal. It's a prime example of why I should be a higher level. <laughs> but I asked for it. <clears throat> and we got through it. How do you feel? Better. For the first time since, well, a long while. Whenever you need me, I will be there. And so will Timaway. Yes, I know. Thank you, my friend. Please, take the amulet. Timaway left a message on it for me, but I will not forget the words. Perhaps it can help you when you face your own difficult times. Series of steps. What will you do now? I do not know for sure. I was so afraid before. Afraid to leave the places where I felt safe. I will take another step and see where it leads me. I will live. All right. <sighs> Even more of a pain in the ass, I just realized I have to ride through the Helltide. Uh, 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 oh. That's not good. Um, yeah. Would you handy to repair? Visit the healer so I can get more uh, potions. Break down and get rid of this other crap I have in my inventory right now, and then, uh, yeah, we'll be on our way. Right. Thank you. Ah, a war. That got most. I'm gonna lose so much gold. Like, I have 12 million. I'm not that far, but. I'm gonna take a good chunk of my purse. I did finish uh, Ghostwire Tokyo. 
yesterday, actually. Like, I had already finished the game. I finished um, the Spider's Thread uh, roguelike mode. It's uh, one of the last videos. It's not the last video, but it's one of the last videos of the series. You won't see it for a while, but... Um, yeah, I finished all that, and I was just trying to get all the achievements and whatnot in Ghostwire. And uh, I did... Oops. I did finish that, so... My game's now 100% done. On to our second dungeon of the day. After a long, extensive journey elsewhere. Witchwater! It also sucks, too, because if we were in certain areas of the map, we would be fighting certain things. And... A lot of it would be a lot easier than what I have to fight right now. Some of these guys are actually pretty tough to fight. That kind of adds to my misery. But again, I chose it. I've been trying to, uh, in my spare time, work on Door Kickers 1. Get all the achievements in that game. I only have four achievements left. Uh, getting two star on all missions, three star on all missions, uh, unlocking all the weapons, and getting 30 um, perfect plan medals. The only achievements I have left in that game. I need more time. Okay, that just got real, so... Pulling out all the stops here. Yeah, I definitely agree. Assassin's Creed games are very multicultural, right? So it's kind of cool. And even though the history beyond the game isn't always 100% accurate, that room is just accessible. I'm going to get absolutely murdered. Let me back up a minute here. I'm looking forward to, obviously, uh, the next installment as well. As we know, I'm just a huge, uh, huge nerd when it comes to Japanese things, right? So, Chinese things as well. Not as much. I like Japanese culture and stuff better, but... I just find that, like, it's weird because North America, all the lore and stuff isn't really interesting. Like, maybe the most exciting, like, urban legend we have is Bigfoot, and that's, it's, yeah, it's not that exciting. Whereas you start talking about all these other cultures and you have shit like, um... That one second here. You have shit like, you know, different monsters, legends, and lore. Yokai, if you're talking about Japanese. You know, just all sorts of different things. Even like outside of Japan, like Asian cultures, rather. When you talk about like Greek, you have all the Greek mythology, Valhalla, you have all the uh, 
Norwegian stuff and all like the Viking stuff and whatnot. So it's when you start talking about like stuff like that, it's just it's very interesting. But then, like I said, when you look at like North America, you go, okay, like what's their background? And you just you just have straight facts and history. <laughs> and I think that's kind of why Assassin's Creed Three has a lot of mixed reviews. Like a lot of people love assassin's creed 3 but like really the only like things that really had going for it was like the dlc when it's like yeah you got those powers so that you had power of the wolf and stuff like that or eagle and bear i don't know can't remember if wolf was actually one of them I think all the places I want to see have actually been done, but I think Africa would be a really, really interesting one, by far. Definitely think Africa would be a really good location to see. Latin America even too, yeah. Besides that, I would have easily said like, Egypt. Can you die? I would have said Egypt, but obviously that's been done. I love the artillery shrine, it's so good. I need more time. If he would have hit me from there with that, I would have been surprised. Travel to the Slithering Crawl. But yeah, I think, you know, just changing it up is enough to keep me interested. Like, not having the same locations and stuff. Like, we've already seen America. You know, we've seen Paris. We've seen England. We've seen uh, Egypt. Greece. You know, so I think, I think changing it all up or still changing it up is enough for me. It's not necessarily a certain location I'd want to see, but... Uh, let's go this way first. Yeah, but I mean, the Roman Empire kind of ties into not only... Uh, Origins, but almost, almost uh, Odyssey as well, right? So, mind you, we were never specifically in the Roman Empire, and obviously closer in Origins than we were uh, Odyssey. But of course, we have to destroy more war device. Also, means no boss on this floor or this dungeon. Get out of that. I was out of dodge. There was no way. Medieval Spain. Eh, doesn't interest me per se, but... It would be interesting. This guy's gonna be a huge jackass to deal with because of that. Managed to move out of there just in time. Made 
sure I wasn't downwind of that one. Same dream as always. Searching for eyes in the darkness. Shadows slithering through the grass. I shed the skin from this old dying form. When I am born in the scales. Free from pain. In the scales are reflected faces I know. Villagers who scorned me, cursed me, laughed at me. Tongues flick in the darkness. If they want to go back that way, for sure. I don't know if naval con, like combat, is definitely something they might revisit. Going through so many fucking pots right now. Mainly because of that guy. The fire one is just kicking my ass whenever I encounter it. What are you doing? Kitty cat came to visit. Wait a second, okay? Let me get over here. Yeah. What are you doing? Actually, I gotta do something. One second. Ghostwire Tokyo. Um, move my drink there. It's gonna be Diablo One. Now I was having a hard time actually getting it to uh, capture, but I think I figured it out. The only issue is after finding out what uh, Hellfire is, because I never actually knew what that was. I kind of want to do Hellfire instead of just normal Diablo. But. I don't know if I can do Hellfire. So we'll see. But yeah, Diablo 1, and then I have a small indie game I want to do, and then we're going to do Far Cry 3. That's that's my plan for the next little while. Let's see if I actually stick to it. Sometimes I have a plan, and then, you know, a cool game comes up and goes out the window. I found out the other day that Ghost of Tsushima is going to be on Steam, so I do want to play that at some point too. I played like maybe 20 minutes of it on uh, PS5, and I liked what I played, so kind of interested. Thank god we're almost level 69. <laughs> Ah, 
Uh, I was trying to destroy that corpse before that happened. So apparently there is going to be a boss here. That's kind of scary. This room is scary too. Jesus. What's the guy I want is all the way at the back of the room. I want to do these next few games, and then uh, I want to get back to working through the Far Cry series. And then, depending, like I said, if something comes up, then I'll do that. That's my that's my immediate plan, anyways. second before we enter this next room. fucking things man that's one of the the most annoying ones i've seen on torment difficulty so far door has been unsealed Great choke point. Yeah, obviously Mirage is in there, but I still want to wait for it to come out on Steam. Uh, Alan Wake 2 I want to play too, but again, I want to wait for it to hit Steam. Almost level 69. wonder if I can get it before we hit the boss fight. Fuck, man, I was trying to get out of there. I'm stuck. makes sense and i feel like it's just it's an easier option definitely like owning a pc is great you know it's multi-use and all that but fuck i didn't want to start the fight um but there's a lot to consider right
I figured boss fight's gonna be hard. That was the worst time for that to happen. I had absolutely no resources for it. Nice. Let's go. And I'm level 69. Hoping for something more than a dagger, but that's okay. I'll stick to the outsides. Nah. It's not even ancestral, unfortunately. Well, that's done though. So that is very nice. But yeah, no, I think getting a PS5 would be, uh, you know, cool. What games uh, are you most excited to play? I don't under. Huh? <laughs> I'm sitting here like, can I help you, miss? Is this a stronghold? It is, motherfucker. Okay, well, first things first. TP. We gotta repair gear. We gotta offload. Not that I have a ton of stuff, but... Right on. That's a good idea. Are you a big fan of the Mortal Kombat series? I can't do that here. Greetings. Hello. What did I want? To... Did I repair my gear? Sorry, I got sidetracked with that guy being there. I don't think I did. Yeah. Mortal Kombat's a cool fighting game. It's not my favorite. I've always liked Street Fighter better, but Mortal Kombat was... I think it was the first one I played. If it wasn't, it was definitely the second one. I thought that was a uh, altar. Well, that region. Is it safe to say it's done? Was that? It? I thought I seen something there. Yeah, safe to say it's done. Let's speak with Crusader Bolt first. I want to explore the area too, obviously, but. Weak elixir of poison resistance, poison resistance by 10%, maximum poison resistance by 2, and you know. The usual. Um, I don't really care about the treasure goblin right now, I'm not going to chase him down. As dumb as that is, because you know he's going to have some good shit with him. I just want to try to map this out first. Yeah, no, that makes sense. I mean, fighting games are always a, a just a good go-to, hey, you want to play something sort of thing, right? I definitely get that. 
was like, what the fuck am I hearing? Yeah, so let's go Coiled Grasp with Crusader Bolt, find out what the objective is, because that will determine what I'm going to do next. I want to go up to the Stronghold, but depending on what... Okay, I guess I'm not speaking to the Crusader. Blood Soak Scroll. Our highest priority is the rescue of our brothers and sisters. Once they are safe, clear any heretics from the ruins beyond. Be wary. There is something unnatural lurking beyond the walls. Warwick. Stronghold to, uh, discovered, Vera says. That's where I was going to, so awesome, awesome. What did I get for that? Salvage. At least this one's going to be more attuned to my level. Look at that, I'm not getting fucking molly fighting a hundred guys. Cultists have learned to live among the snake men. They don't seem to cooperate in any way other than a mutually parasitic relationship. If the cultists are directly in some I still can't see it. Perhaps they're nurturing them in some way. <laughs> I can destroy the serpent's eyes. Do that. Must be hidden for a reason. I should see if there are more like it. Ah, uh, fair enough. I forgot about that completely. Actually, you know it's funny because it used to not be a huge thing when I was younger, and I was like underage, trying to buy like M-rated games. It was just like, oh yeah, no, whatever. And then almost like near. I, I want to say like the end of that so when I was like pretty much 18 is when they actually started to enforce that a little bit more I guess it depends also though too like how strict some places are maybe some countries and continents and stuff are more strict than others but here it's never really been a huge thing I hate this at least this isn't like outright killing me instantly. Take that though. It's a good way for me to earn some experience too without actually having to fight to the death every encounter. Open the serpent's eye door. I can do that. I'm gonna finish exploring out here though. Because I want to. I also feel like owning a console is a lot more accessible nowadays. And what I mean by that is like, because there is the, uh, what is it called? Like the PSN subscriptions and stuff like that. You can actually have access to more games and more content whereas before I feel like that wasn't always a thing not a, not as big of a thing anyways cat decided she want to go on the bed instead you want to get in the bed good girl because I know when I was owning the 360 they had the games for uh, games for gold or whatever but they just started doing the like two games free per month sort of thing too. You have my sword. I will not fall. If only I came this way first. Urgent, looking for able bodied adventures to clear out nests of snakes in the Vizia's village. Not that I really needed extra help, but 
The only area I didn't check was over there. Can I... Okay, this is very odd. I was gonna go that way and, like, the door magically appeared. I think my friends died a while ago there. Probably because of this asshole. Still got a little bit ways up to go. I was not expecting to see like an enemy over here by the way kind of threw me off i knew there was gonna be an altar dexterity ritual table ritual site appears well used there must be a large amount of sites within these runes in use by these cultists what they are doing and how they move past the snakes is a mystery yeah jesus eh oh that makes total sense like i said pcs are pretty expensive so I totally get it. It's also crazy though, when you say it like that, it makes it seem like it's like... I don't know the right way to say this, so I'm just gonna say it like this. When you say it like that, to me it sounds like it's crazy, like, break the bank purchase because the numbers seem really big to me. Because in Canada, this is just probably a ballpark. I don't know what it would be going for, but I would think the PS5 is around like $500, maybe more. And like a good PC, well, starting at $1,000, but definitely, definitely upwards. But that's Canadian dollars, right? Like that's obviously the, the conversion factor and stuff is there, but. Just because we deal with a lot smaller numbers, usually, more frequently. It's the same thing with, like, I work with uh, people from India and stuff, and they'll tell me, like, they have different currency, obviously, and, like, so they have, like, the 500, like, rupees, I think it is, bills and stuff like that. $500 bills, whatever, whatever we're calling it. Um, and to me, it's like, that's insane, because it's like, can you imagine walking around with like a $500 bill? But to them, it's just normal, right?
bro. These encounters are night and day. And the worst part is I'm gonna leave out of here and just get molly whopped again. Let's go to the back there and fight whatever lies in wait. And then this is the last stronghold of the game. <clears throat> Who wakes up and does like their hardest attack? of shared misery it's a sacred legendary amulet 729 item power 12 percent resistance to all elements so a little bit less 8.5 percent movement speed 8.5 percent energy cost reduction that might be useful trap skill arm time reduced by 0 0.2 seconds plus one rank of all imbuement skills lucky hit when you hit a crowd controlled enemy there's an up to 54 percent chance of that crowd control effect to spread to another unaffected enemy it's also has an empty socket I don't actually use Deadly Venom. I do have Thorns, though. I don't have Barriers. Ultimate skill damage is kind of big, though, too. I don't think I'm going to take that. It's good, but not good enough. Woohoo! Completed all strongholds. Shield. There's what? One dungeon here. A couple of quests, of course. Oh yeah, that's right. <clears throat> I was like, where the hell did the Helltide go? But it's almost 2 o'clock. So it dispersed. We're getting there. We're definitely getting there. Alright, um... I know I didn't die. But we'll still head down here. All that work, huh? Go up, pick up some quests, be on our way. No, no. What have I done? What have I done? What troubles you? <gasps> Dirin and I wanted to prove ourselves. We ventured into that cave outside the camp to drive the cultists out. There were so many. Dirim was overrun. I, I couldn't get to him. I, I shouldn't have left. I don't know how to live with myself. If, if you find any piece of him, please bring it back. I have nothing to bury. A shadowed plunge, is that the, uh, that is. You don't seem well fortified here. Holding this camp is a lost cause. 
We would be better off preserving Zarbanzet. Not being butchered by cultists and rotting in the bog. We've retrieved most of the dead. But some personal effects were missing. Prayer amulets. Those cultists pillage the bodies and wear them now, mocking our crusade. I want them returned and the thieves eradicated. But the remaining garrison is my priority. Please help with this. Um, collect Zakram per amulets from cultists. We'll do the left behind first because I do want to jump into this this dungeon here. Altine's up there. I mean, a lot of people in the West work f for minimum wage as well. But I also feel like there's just more job opportunities, maybe. I'm not ready. I don't know what I'm doing. These guys went up in health. Chest armor, thank you. I'm almost definitely gonna use it unless it's just straight up shit. And it's not. <sighs> Resistant assailants, sovereign male, and ancestral legendary chest armor, 813 item power. Has 1423 armor, so 86 more than current. 33% damage with skills that swap to new weapons. Ugh. 14.5% total armor, that's actually huge. 746 thorns, that's great. 3.1% damage reduction, that's cool. Breaking concealment grants 10%. Uh, killing an elite enemy reducing concealment. I don't really use concealment, so unfortunately, like, the item property is eh. But the rest of it's really good. I'm losing out on strength mostly, but that's not a huge deal. Let's see if we can't get this, uh... Fortified a bit. Yes and no. I mean, it really... It does really depend on the job, how many hours you get and stuff. But I understand what you're saying, and 100% I agree with you. I feel like it's easier... To do it in North America than it would be to do it in, you know, other countries. I definitely agree. I was able to get that to, like, a level 5 rank 2. twenty one point eight percent total armor. 1,211 thorns. I'm hoping... Because of the huge increase in armor, this actually makes me beefier enough where I'm not going to get one hit as fast as I am. I think it's still going to be a challenge, but I don't think I'm going to have to struggle, hopefully, a whole lot. Yeah, yeah. It out. yeah. So that big, that big attack just did maybe a, a half of my health, just to be expected. But their regular attacks now are... Pretty good. The thorns on it's pretty good. Yeah. That that right there is all I needed. I literally just needed one good piece of gear. I was hoping it was gonna be a weapon. Crossbows aren't bad, but I want bows instead. Even though crossbows are always generally more powerful, the bows are a faster attack rate. I still gotta be careful, obviously, but overall I would say Gonna be a little bit better. Alright. 
What do we got? Shadowed Plunge. Let's get in there. Let's see how this goes. Once I get a level 2, once I hit level 70, it'll be that much better for me. Level 70. Some more gear. It'll all come together. Shadowed Plunge. Free the prisoners. There's seven. We also have to find the uh, find Darren's remains somewhere in this uh, dungeon. I going to say temple, but... It, if I go as far as to call it that. I love how that hit him. <laughs> that hit me and killed him because of the thorns. I just build my potion uh, capacity back up. Once I hit level 70, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, I can upgrade my potions at level 70. So that's another reason I want to hit 70. Because that too will balance out what I'm dealing with right now. to be a good gamer to enjoy games though that's definitely definitely an over exaggeration on most not just your but like not your behalf but most people's behalf is everyone always feels it's like oh i'm bad at video games so i can't enjoy a video game that's not necessarily true you just find a different way to enjoy it like for me i like harder games i like a challenge so that's like this right now i'm playing in a world where I'm five levels behind, sorry, six levels behind, when really I can make this easier and just turn the difficulty down. Simply put, I don't want to. But yeah, I I would definitely recommend Mordor and Shadow of War. They're both fun. I found uh, Shadow of War to be a bit better. Mordor was more uh, story based, and Shadow of War was more content based. Uh, I honestly I figured that was probably going to be a, a trick shrine. Oh, I got overzealous there. I was just waiting for the blast shrine to go off, right? So that's what. Come on. Get me out of there. I have to do the Paragon point in a second here. Woo! Let's go. They got absolutely shitted on. That's such a slow animation to get up to. <laughs> It does say Winter Hunter. Okay, that's what I call it. But yeah, definitely recommend Shadow of Moran and Shadow of Wardor. I think you would enjoy both of them. They're very uh, Assassin's Creed-esque. I gotta go back the other way. guys for a second Oh, 
Doesn't seem like much, but trust me, this armor is such a huge improvement. I can already tell you already. This is such a interesting interesting design. I thought that was going to be the way forward up ahead, but might still be yet. this way. That's something I do have to go back to too is uh, Shadow of Mordor. I don't have all the achievements on that and I do want to get all the achievements on it. I have all the achievements on Shadow of War surprisingly enough. I'm missing, missing a handful, or well, more than a handful, on uh, Mordor. You can most likely find number two, because I believe the Ezio collection, you probably would be able to find at least a digital copy of it anyways. I'm like 99% sure, because I know my roommate was looking at the uh, Assassin's Creed games the other day. But yeah, one you won't be able to find, unfortunately. One, it's pretty much one of your only options for one now is Steam or an older, older system, right? But yeah, you should be able to find literally every other game except, uh, except one, including, uh, Chronicles. The only other ones you wouldn't be able to find, obviously, are the, uh, Like the handheld standalone ones, the Altair Chronicles and stuff. I think there's like one or two other games. Honestly, though, <clears throat> you honestly don't miss out with uh, not playing the first Assassin's Creed. Even story-wise, you get pretty much a recap of everything if you play, like, all the other ones. And you just pay attention to most of the other shit. But, I mean, it's still to say you play it, right? This potion should stabilize you. Someone named Mateen sent me to find you. He feared the worst. Mateen? Then he's alive. What was in that potion? Oh, my insights are on fire, but I think I can make it out. But yeah, you should be able to find uh, two Brotherhood and Revelation. Either physical copy through the Ezio collection, or like I said, it will be on the, the PS5 store. Another prisoner. What's 
the rest of them actually. Travel to the egg <laughs> incubation chamber is great. I'm not surprised though. Okay, so it does go that way. Did that the wrong way. Yeah, but I mean, I gotta take this guy out first. Just for what it is, too, right? Because, yeah, it's older, but Assassin's Creed has a pretty big fandom, and they did just... Which one was it? They just remastered one of them not that long ago. I am not sure if our prisoner should be praised or pitied. Was it four? I think it was. Have the honor to mate with our lords. The virile offspring should allow us the power we need to take back the camp from these heretics. However, there is a process that will surely be ready. The service demands sacrifice. I'll take those, thank you. died like 10 times there had I not be wearing this armor. All I had to do was chase down a goblin. Really? I swear they just did four or at least they're in the works of doing four are they not? I know I've been seeing a whole bunch of shit on remaster of four. my position right now, but let's see if we can do anything about that. Okay, that's that's what it is then, is what I'm thinking of for that. I knew they were doing it or in the works or something. Like I, like I said, I remember seeing a whole bunch of stuff on it. 
I shouldn't have did that just that second. Throw myself into the uh, into the circle. One of the wards. <clears throat> I did not want to get hit by that. That's fine. I really pushed it there, but I got away with it. <laughs> I shouldn't have, but I did. Okay, now I gotta be extra careful. That wouldn't surprise me. I got obliterated. That wouldn't surprise me just because, like I said, it's unaccessible pretty much anywhere but Steam and old physical copies. So it kind of feels like it's overdue for a remake, if anything. Bro, look at the fucking lineup over there. No wonder I died. That and the fucking ability too. Every time it hits, it shoots out the uh, those orbs. There was an enemy type in Diablo 2 that would always do that. It was a beetle in uh, Act 2. You would hit it and it would shoot out lightning. <laughs> Absolutely the worst thing to fight for most classes. I will take that. Thank you. G gave great experience, but just a shitty thing to fight. We we're fucking paralleling here. I love it. All right, what do we got? Infiltrators and Bia. Ancestral Legendary Dagger. It's 807 item power. Uh, 1,180 damage per second, 364 increase, 20% uh, damage to close enemies, 12.5% uh, damage over time, 90% ultimate skill damage, 19% damage to stun enemies, 9.5% damage to frozen enemies, and poison trap no longer breaks stealth. Which is unfortunate because I'll lose out on the uh, basic core. Because anytime I use Forceful Arrow, it buffs Barrage. But I get more DOT, more ultimate damage. Stun and Frozen enemies, which I have a fair bit of. Alright, AB, I appreciate you being here like always. Uh, the next stream, I'm not too sure. There might not be one next week, or at least not for Diablo 4. I have to work on Sunday when we would normally stream, so I have to push the stream off. I'm just extremely busy with work. My only day off next week is Wednesday, but I don't know what I'm going to be doing Wednesday if I like even have the time to stream. So it's going to be a couple weeks. If I pop in with another stream here or there, just playing whatever I'm playing, um, it'll just kind of be a spur of the moment thing, but our next scheduled stream, it's going to be a couple weeks from now, just because I'm busy with work right now, but I appreciate you being here. Like always, uh, I hope you have a rest, a good rest of your day too. And yeah, no, you'll see me around. I'm sure I probably will stream at one point or another sometime in between, uh, here and, you know, two weeks from now, but no guarantees that just obliterated me. Jesus Christ. But yeah, thanks for being here. I appreciate it.
God, that one died. <clears throat> that was the one that was fucking me up the most there. So we still have two wards left, and I have a ton of directions to go. That gave me a ton of experience, though. I really am getting, you know, huge experiences. Experience, uh... The fuck am I going with that? I'm really getting a lot of experience right now. There we go. Thank God I picked up that uh that armor. <laughs> hey, sword. All right, let's keep going this way. I had a feeling it was literally going to be right here, but I wasn't positive. That was close. gonna hurt. Wow. Last guy, of course, he has some shitty combination of uh, attributes. Thankfully he's dead though. And that was the end of that dungeon. Nice. Let's get out of here. I found your lost friend alive. He needs to be taken to a healer. Oh, I, I can't believe it. Uh, if I knew he lived, I, I would have gathered the group. Oh. I never should have run. <coughs> it's okay, Martin. I just want to leave this place. Easy. I'll help you to the healer. Eh? <sighs> Thank you, Wanderer. You're braver than most. Akarat must guide your path.
Four Paragon points I will take. What do we have left for boards? Eldritch Bounty, when you attack with an imbued skill, you gain 3% maximum resistance, 20% increased damage for that imbuement's element for 9 seconds. Eh. Tricks of the Trade. Cutthroat skill, 25% increased damage. I don't use cutthroat skills, though. Uh, cheap Shot. That might be a one to go for. Exploit Weakness. Whenever you deal damage to a vulnerable enemy, they take 1% increased damage for up to 6 seconds, up to 15%. And Cutting Stratagem. I don't use combo points. So if I'm going to get any... Cheap Shot and maybe Exploit Weakness. So I might only get two more boards. And then what I'll do is just kind of build on the boards I already have. I'll probably do is go up this way. Exit, put the board here, and then I'll just have the six boards. Head back. She's ready for whatever you need. I'm gonna work on the Lost Cause mission, and then I guess we'll just start working on the dungeons here. We have three more dungeons in the Toxic Fens, and then I want to head here next after the Legion event is done, just to map that out. Then we'll enter this area, the final towns here, obviously. And I just have one more area after that. is this down here? Do I really want to know? No, but we're here. Toxic mine. Jump down there, I guess. Why not? That was kind of crazy, but... I absolutely slayed them.
back up this way. One more. Back in. Return to Erdner. I've collected the prayer amulets. I will have these amulets returned to Zarbinzet. If only they were the last to fall. Here is payment for your service. I know mercenaries don't work for free. Let's go back to our portal. I'll head back that way to the ruins of Eridu. Soil enemies in the rotting halls. Let's see what we can get done. Let's have another paragon point. Down this way first. Ah, 
I knew that was a bad idea as soon as I seen all the little guys start running. I knew they were gonna fucking kamikaze me. I sh shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Man, I got fucking froze. And it popped my ultimate. Cool. Alright, let's wait a few seconds for that to pop back up. Smack him around. I got fucking stuck again, man. Fucking hit stunned, and then I just fucking got stuck there. Up. Sorry, Elfie. <sighs> Absolutely molly whopped right now. Pissing me off. <laughs> That was ridiculously... No fucking thank you. It was ridiculous, put it that way. <laughs> Can't move because I'm frozen. I'm not ready. I'm dead. I'm surprised I survived that. Yeah. 
Jesus. I know this is all going to be empty, obviously, but I want to finish clearing it out. What kind of elixirs do I have left? Weak elixir of shadow resistance. Might as well. Travel to the fallen chambers. Slay the banes of Eridu. Two of them. Didn't think they were going to explode that fast. and I was not ready for this fight. I must have missed my window for inner sight. For a minute there. So I was trying to get it just before he, uh, he died. Make that a little bit easier on myself, but... surprised that went as well as I did. We are going to have a boss fight. It's the only place I haven't been. Hoping to hit level 70 before we leave here. We might not, though. Yeah. I'm 
Reload ready. I need to move. Yeah. As soon as I dodged forward on accident, I knew I was fucked there. I need more time. The worst combo I could have fucking seen on this guy. Walls and flames, like... If I got stuck in that narrow corridor, I would have been screwed. Lair of the Riser. I mean, I will take free XP if you're gonna give it to me. Anyone else? Didn't think so. I'm definitely gonna level up before, uh, well, after this fight. For some reason, I keep losing my mouse. Needs time to recharge. I don't know if I got stunned or what the fuck happened there. I should have hit that. What? You gotta be fucking kidding me. Now I'm just livid. Fuck sakes. Let's do this fight over again. This is some bullshit. I don't understand, like, why I don't have enough resource. I really, I really am lacking in the resources. And it's absolutely hindering me since I've gotten a torment. Can I just get the fucking inner sight? Thank you. He had to have hit me with that fireball. Time for that to happen. Thank you. Bro, how do you not give me the experience I need? Fuck off. I'm like literally right there. I should be able to get it. Maybe right here.
There we go. Let's head back to Zarbonzet. I can level up, upgrade the potion, offload, repair my gear, and then probably take a break. That looks worn. I can tell that. Did not mean to click on anything there. Potions, elixirs, brews. Have a look. There's 559 life instantly and 35% of my maximum life for over three seconds. I have everything I need for the major healing pot, too. Thankfully. <laughs> I need forgotten souls for the superior healing pot. But that's still ways, ways away. I probably won't even get the major healing pot before we finish. <laughs> I forgot about all these. We actually have to go back and do all these. I should probably do that like sooner rather than later. Maybe I should... No. We'll keep going. Do what I'm doing. And then... Maybe after I explore, like, I have the map, hopefully. It might not be today, but I'll throw it back on World Tier 3 and just run those dungeons. He thinks, me thinks. Look around us. Everything rotting. There's no future here. I took an oath. I can't just abandon my faith because it got hard to keep it. This is not the only place faith lives. The light touches everywhere but here. Please, come with me back to Kajistan. Take a chance, wanderer. I don't have 92 ovals anyways. Yeah, anyways, though, let's uh, call it for a few minutes there. I'm going to take a break when we come back. Um, we're going to continue on exploring out uh, Hawazar. Obviously, I'm going to tell you back to where we were over here. I'm going to push down the coast to do Leviathan's Maw next. We'll do Goa Runes, and then I'll do Find Anetta. No, actually, sorry. I'll... Explore that out first, then we'll find Anetta, work on that quest, there, that quest, and then obviously this will kind of be last. Then depending on how long that takes, where we're at with time and stuff, that might be the end of the stream. Um, we'll probably have an <clears throat> at least one more stream for sure. We'll try the Malignant Burrow as well, because I have the summoning item for that. But in terms of everything else, I mean, like I said, the only other thing I really want to do is find the last side quests in areas. The altars, I'm not going to bore with finding them on stream, if I bother to find them at all. 
I may or may not, I don't know yet. But yeah, we still have one more waypoint, which is that last town. 42 of 56 areas, that's just going to come in time. 17 and 23 dungeons, so we only have really six left. And then three of them are in the area I'm in at right now. Side quest, 23 of 50. We only have six dungeons left. Sorry, two of them are where I'm at. I know there's going to be nothing there. So we're looking at maybe two and two. Maybe. But yeah, I'll be back in a short little bit.
All right, we're back. Let us... Potion's almost up. Sorry, the elixir. I should probably get a few more elixirs whilst we're here. I'm also trying to figure out if maybe I should just go back to World Tier 3. The longer I wait, the worse it's going to be. I'm just going to fly through it. This one will have monster level 72 at least. <clears throat> now, let's stick to our game. I want to finish up here. So I actually want to hit the alchemist before we leave and just maybe craft some some elixirs. I have what two on me? Well, I got seven because I have five of these. work shit and it really shouldn't be um anyways though long story short i got what seven maybe i should be okay for now yeah you know what Alright, to the Leviathan's Maw. Pick that up on my way. Turn the bloodstone to the pedestals. There's two of them. this way first a lot of little things flying around did i not pop a potion or elixir i thought i did that's my bad These fucking putrid wasps are gonna be annoying. How much damage they output. Yeah. 
soon as I went to go move. Should turn around. The worst part is, I was just thinking about how I haven't seen an event. Bat, that's kind of terrifying. Let's get out of that. I can't believe all three of them survived, it's that's insane. Much, but I hope it helps. Ran hard and fast from my old crew. They wanted to set up shop in Ranger's I can't live in the swamp. I can't stay, and I can't leave without money. I found these warriors by accident, but what a treasure. I can sell everything I find in money. But there's someone else, more than one person here, hunting for something. And I think if they fall, it won't go well.
putrid uh, wasps are probably the most annoying enemy that I uh, will have to face in this uh, this region. Travel to the flooded runes. Say all enemies here. As soon as I moved. I'm surprised I didn't die. <laughs> At least make it worthwhile. Decide if I should go and clear this area. Might as well. left. Nah, 
I got cocky. I just wanted to stand there and trade. Back up, thank you. Let's get out of here. I did die, so I kind of want to hit town before we enter this next dungeon. Go our runes. Healer too. Travel to the Vile Chamber. Keep accidentally hitting that button, and I don't mean to. fingers today. Yeah. 
sitting here like, didn't I come through this room? But no, I guess I didn't. Eh? Did not. Am I on the outside of that or not? I can't tell. It's my own stupidity. There's the gold I was looking for. I press it once, unless I'm just firing hella fast, which might also be the case too. One of the last things I remember getting as an upgrade was attack speed. Not a very big one, but still. Enough. Paragon point. Trying to stay alive at this point. Keep some of my resources for this fight. 
We'll go uh investigate this side next. Another one of those seaborn goddess statues down here. Sunlock absolutely fucking sucks. Beefy motherfuckers, too. And I'm stunlocked again. Fucking game. I'm stunned again. I'm not ready yet. Jesus fucking Christ. if I should go that way or that way. I should finish this way first, I guess.
We're almost all caught up and explored here. A few more areas left this way. I thought I killed him, but apparently not. Another statue over there, too. I gotta get out of there, that's just a fucking cesspool. You... What's really left is the boss now. I'm assuming that's what's coming up. Round Sea Hag. Perfect timing for that. I was about to head straight there, but I forgot I wanted to follow this first. Closer to this objective. <clears throat> if I was to guess, I would say probably this way. If 
Found your necklace. Are you all right? Yes. Yes, thank you. I'll be all right. Gulyas's ritual is just draining. Only when meddled with by well-meaning but ignorant visitors. Have the voices quieted, Anita? Can you understand them yet? Uh, it still hurts when they speak. They all talk over each other. I'm sorry. We don't apologize for things outside our control. Hmm. Something still inflames your blood. There is only one thing left to try. What must <clears throat> what must we do? It is ancient magic that should calm our blood. It will be painful, Anita. I hope you are prepared to pay the price. I'll do whatever it takes. Good. Go and gather four bloated livers from the rotting creatures out in the wilds. Worry not. I will take care of it. Anita is perfectly capable of handling this task. I wouldn't mind some company to keep an eye out while I work. Fine. Once you're done, meet me in the hidden glade east of here. Why was Anita summoning demons? Uncontrolled magic weakens the fabric between this world and the burning hells. Anita wasn't trying to summon demons. They were drawn here unintentionally. Who are you, Goliath? I am a witch. A servant of the Tree of Whispers, and by extension, all of Hawazar. I was called as a child. The same as Anita. Some are called, and some are given. Regardless, it is our destiny to protect this place. Do you know Tyasa? Ah, the Witch of the Tower. Yes, we are... acquainted. I felt her absence from the swamps until only recently. She must have been sent a great distance to complete her task. I met with the Tree of Whispers. Did you? I am impressed. I myself have not been in the tree's presence in some time. It must see a great potential, or more likely, a great value in you. Help Anita gather rotten livers. There's four of them. Didn't see us pick up one, but apparently we did. See, I thought we were looking specifically for creatures. No, we're just looking for bodies of. Look. 
That's what I'm looking for. My necklace back to me. It was a gift for my mother. She still loves me. Deep down. Right here. Right here. I hope this works. I don't see anything there, but okay. And show mother that I'm not just a burden. I want to go this way just to push out the boundaries of the map here. Anita. Anita, place the livers in the bowl. When you are ready, we will begin. Oh, I'm ready. Good. The rite is simple. I will draw beasts here, and you will slay them near the altar until the bowl is filled. Anita, protect yourself the way I instructed you. Oh, I... Yes, Gulyas. as you can from the bowl. You see? They engage in dark heresy. Mother! You... What are you? What... What have you become? No! You're wrong! Goliath has... How dare you! <laughs> <laughs> Raise your voice to me! Her soul belongs to the demons now. Kill them all! <laughs> Good luck with that. <clears throat> this is your fault. You birthed that cursed creature. These deaths are on your head. <coughs> no! Die, witch! Stop! <laughs> <laughs> Follow Anita. It's just gonna end bad for Anita, you know that. They're gonna end up killing her. I 
just wanted to help her. Anita, your mother was beyond anyone's help. Nothing I did ever changed how she saw me. I was just a cursed child to her. All the way to the end. My dear, you cannot save anyone who refuses change. Your mother decided who she was long before you were born. <gasps> the voices. <gasps> They're finally quiet. It's time for me to go. Anita's already gone. You won't see her again. But she left you a letter. There, on the table. I'm sorry I wasn't able to say goodbye. The chorus of voices called to me. And I had to ask. I asked Goliath to return my mother's body to Zarbinzet. <laughs> she only protested a little. I don't know how to thank you enough. You protected me. A girl he barely knew from danger so many times. I promise not to waste this chance you've given me. I know it's not much, but I want you to take this as a keepsake. Truly, thank you. You have a task for me? The cultists who infest this area believe that through rituals and sacrifice, they can be reborn as one of the Nangari. The notion is ridiculous, of course. The Nangari care nothing for worship. But perhaps an alchemical process. There is a powerful Nangari necromancer who lives in the Fens. Bring me the necrotic flesh of one of her minions and samples of snake poison. Necrotic flesh and snake venom. Interesting. I suppose we can help. I already got the flesh, just need the venom now. Lost sight of him there for a second. This fucking minion is why I can't actually beat him right now. Thank you. The fucking thing was giving him a health buff. Take that, and I'm getting the fuck out of here. Thankfully, I executed his ass. Uh, this is 
not the way I wanted to go, but I'll stop here for a second. Circle of Elements, Ancestral Legendary Ring, 817 item power, 6% resistance to all elements and fire resistance, 16% critical strike damage, 10.5% imbued skill damage, 16.5% damage to distant enemies, and 21.5% damage to slow enemies. It also gains 20% increased damage to a set of damage types for 7 seconds. This effect alternates between two sets, Fire, Lightning, and Physical, Cold, Poison, and Shadow. I don't know if I want to give up that ring, though. I'd rather give up this one. Even though arguably the Trickster's Band is better than the Aerostorm, I like actually having Aerostorm. <laughs> what you asked for good hmm. yes give me but a moment then I will need you again What's next? The potion is ready. To be thorough, we should test it on both cultists and non-cultists. There are many bandits in this area. Find some, add it to their food, and observe the results. Repeat the experiment with the cultists south of here. Return to me with the results. Oh, yes. I guess it helps if I take the potion. Might be of use. Pretty sure it was up this way. I keep getting stuck on shit, and it's highly annoying. I wanted to make sure it was actually in this region, because if it wasn't, I was just going to get off the horse. Take that ring, too.
I would have been able to do it if I got off the fucking horse when I clicked the button. Not like 10 minutes after. completely dissolve them. check this ring too before we do that trick shot loop ancestral legendary ring 850 item power 6.9 percent resistance to all elements and poison resistance 21 percent damage to distant enemies 87 life regeneration will not damage recently 470 maximum life plus four maximum energy whenever penetrate and shot damages an enemy two additional arrows split off to either side uh, these side arrows deal 19% of penetrating shots base damage and do not split. I don't have penetrating shot, right? Uh, use forceful arrow. I lose out on some maximum life too. <clears throat> Both groups died. Hmm. Not unexpected. But it is disappointing. Perhaps those fanatics will yet find a way. But for now, at least, there are fewer of them causing problems. I mean, I did get some ancestral stuff out of that too, so definitely a win-win. Get to return to Tamu. I guess we should do that right now. Like, we're even right there. Like, I got stuck on fucking God knows what. <laughs> uh, do I want to go this way? No. Let's go down the next exit. That one kind of makes a little bit more sense, at least. <clears throat> Bandits were abducting them. Here's what I saw. And folk think we are monsters. There are men in this world who would take a dying boy, hack the source from his body, and sell them like herbs to the alchemists. But you've sated the swamp with their blood. <laughs> Go now. Live with our gratitude. Tell me about the swamp. The swamp is always watching. 
It knows why you've come. It knows each and every bone that has sunk to the bottom of the black mud since time began. It sees all and more. And its wisdom grows with every fool who makes a pact with the tree. Makes sense. Can I get herb cash? Alright. We can go back to what we were doing here. All that's explored out. I should have hit there first, that way I could have just fast traveled back there. Instead of having to ride back, but it's fine. To backwater we go. To ask around backwater for Katharina. locals about Elias as well. There's a bunch of quests here. Ah, a warrior. How may I serve? Mm, good salvage. Forge awaits your return. I've a decent enough selection, provided you don't mind second hand. <laughs> The light is needed in the darkest of places. Yet sometimes the light must call on darkness in turn. Let me go activate this uh waypoint. The sailor should go with the sea, damn it. He deserves better. He deserves peace in death, mate. Let the fires give it to him. Poor damned are drowned. Looking for a Katrina. Katrina. Sunny my oath. The purveyor tends to be a people person. No one gives a damn about you here, but at least they're honest about it. Anywhere else, and they lie with a smile. That's a mighty fine weapon. That is. Give me a peek. Oh, don't fuss. A moment's all I want. Quick, quick, give it here. Good luck with that. Dude must think I was born yesterday. <sighs> Crates of illicit goods. All manner of alcohol, hailing from all of Sanctuary's sunless corners, collected here. Even the dregs of society need a taste of home, it seems. Has a swordsman and a priest come through here? <laughs> Lots of swordsmen come through here. But that's a pair who sticks out. Can't say I've seen them, but someone must have. I'll keep asking. That's three, four, five, six for me, six for the skipper, and five, six for the crew. We'll go this way. I've seen a one-eyed swordsman traveling with the curate. Oh, yes, yes, of course. A good friend of mine, too, you know. I can take you to him for a fee. That's a trout. That's a bad idea, that is, Kiana. Look at him. That's no fool. Oh, bah! That's 50 gold we won't get now. Boss runs a tight ship around here. Oh, too tight, you ask me. I came here to escape tyranny. Now I'm stuck licking a tyrant's boots. Shut your trap. 
He's got goons everywhere. Talk like that, you'll find yourself short a few fingers. Nah, shut it. Listen, I saw him. I'm serious. Swear it. Handing over bags of something shiny to outsiders. Nothing good coming of that. What's that? Sacred table? Table shows deep gouges, scratches, and stains, likely from games both uh, revolvers and mutinous. Are you okay? <clears throat> that harsh glint beat me something bad. Leave it to me. No, wait. I gotta show them that they can't walk all over me, yeah? It's gotta be me. I just need you to get some wild red mushrooms from outside the walls. Ones what make you throw up. Find them for me, will you? I'd get thrashed by worse than Glyn if I go out there wounded. Fine. Knife training, knife throwing dummy. Littered with countless holes from bouts of knife throwing, a blood stain of dubious origin trails from the dummy. Have you seen a swordsman and a priest? Oh, wait, I know this one. A swordsman and a priest enter a tavern. The priest says, uh, uh, <laughs> damn, how'd it come again? Never mind. <laughs> Let me tell one to ye of the West Marchy Free. He's a lover of the other with their mistress. Let's see. Ah, oh, come on, Zell. Don't be that way. I mean it, Tomai. I'm not missing her out. What's going on here? Well, hey, stranger. Hey, you. Look at me. I'm not done talking to you. <laughs> I'm looking at you. You're uh, as radiant as a backwater sunset. <laughs> this is serious shit, Tomai. We both know there are more and more drown sightings every day. Look, sweetheart. I'll do the work. Cross my heart. Damn right you will. Well, the next time I see you, I'm going straight to the boss. Hey, you. You're not from around here, are you? Listen, you help me out. I can help you survive in this place. Help me find any new bodies that have washed ashore. Check them for anything we could use. Then I'll burn them. And grab any extra salvage we find along the way. <clears throat> Got it. Oh, don't worry. Boss, sir, you can rely on me. No, no, you've got to stand out, man. Boss, I'm as strong a fighter as any fighter. No, you stupid. Severed hand. The severed hand will still weep blood. It was only recently separated from its owner. Have you seen a one-eyed swordsman and a priest recently? I do remember. They were looking for cell swords. I suppose on account of the curate. He wasn't a fighting man. They picked up three. Only Sev's come back. Sev? Where is she? Out near the cove. She's not right, mind you. Won't talk to people without her mead. I've got some for her. If you've got the coin. Excuse me. Have you seen this man? Looking for someone? Looking for a man. Regular around here. Name's Flynn. You seen him? Lean guy. Bald. Got a birthmark on his right arm. 
No? Damn. See, my crew is leaving port here real soon, but I got a debt to settle with Flynn. I ain't one for leaving loose ends untied. Especially to a place like Backwater. Ain't nobody gonna be holding nothing over my head. What can be done? Flynn should have come back down the road up north days ago. I'd start by looking there. Come with me. <laughs> a whole band of people now. Normally, I'd have done this sort of thing myself. But I'll walk barefoot into the burning hells before I go wandering the coast alone. The drowned out here are nasty creatures, and I ain't looking to join their ranks. He was already dead. Weren't me that killed him. I just... just kept him dead. <laughs> that thing was a Think, think. Remember him before he drowned. It wasn't really him. Travelers beware. Deadly threat spotted nearby. Eerie statue. A strange lifelike statue of Nagari has appeared in the northern Foul Sands region of the Rot Spill Delta. The horrible chanting of the cultists that are drawn to it seem to never relent. Be wary. There is some eldritch power at work. What is this place? Bring questions like that to a place like this. You'll end up knifed and robbed. Is that blood there? Blood? Wine? Depends who you ask. <laughs> Who's in charge here? Coin is king, wanderer. Do what you want, but don't mess with the money. Looking for a uh, uh, Katharina. Katharina? Oh, you mean Katharina Cresson? That old crone died when I was a child. More wrinkled than woman, they used to say. Well, she was burned and buried out back under the memorial wall. Mm, might be nice to stop by and pay respects. She don't get too many visitors. <laughs> Leave the flowers at Katharina's grave. I believe we're almost pretty much done exploring this town. <clears throat> Maybe that was it. You stuffed it up for the last time. Where's our coin? At the bottom of the accursed sea, ain't it? If you're unlucky enough to wake up tomorrow, you best figure out how to make up the money to us. Otherwise, mate, you're a dead man. I'm supposed to speak with Cress. All the way up there, eh? Oh, right, 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 right. I remember what the fuck that is now. I'll head up there first. <clears throat> Let them know that the flowers are there. That was the guy that was part of the, uh, the tree. Don't ruin all that work. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Have I ever looked over here? I don't even really see.
found Katrina, uh, Katrina. She's been dead for many years. What? No. She's just a child. I've, I've only been... Oh, how long has it been? Oh. Did she get the flowers at least? Yes, she did. Chris, are you all right? I've remembered something. I stole this uh, <coughs> doll. Um, uh, hello, idol. Um, th this thing. Uh, uh, stole it from a woman who was like me. I thought it would slow the disease. Uh, maybe it did. But what I did was wrong. It wasn't worth the extra years. I'd like to return it. But I'm not sure who I took it from. Was it someone from Backwater? Backwater? No, I... Definitely not. <coughs> Pricks ran me out. Place was a death sentence. <laughs> Woman like you, what do you mean? <laughs> You're too kind, friend. I know what I'm... What I've become. Uh, she wasn't so pained, so troubled by the vines. <laughs> Not like me. <laughs> Could it be a witch? <laughs> I may be dumb, <laughs> but burning hells. <laughs> I would not steal from a witch. <laughs> Could you mean to me? Damn. That name. Oh, my thorns in my brain. That must... It must be her. <laughs> She's probably forgotten about it. It's been so long. <laughs> Deliver the stolen idol to Tamu. Plot thickens. All oh, my herb cash. Of course, there's no easy way to get there. Back to back water and then I ride across. Something I believe is yours. Once mine. Then lost. He took it. And the swamp took him. The poor fool still lives. Yeah. Then he suffers. We will ease his pain and tend it. 
coax out the snakes of the marsh. Ask them for their venom. We will make a solve. I told him. I cannot cure what is not sick. Okay. What is it that Crest stole? Worthless. <clears throat> and precious. A toy made by a girl I once knew. It holds no cure. Only a memory. Collect marsh snake venom from Ningari. Two. Always keep doing that. That puts me at six. Oh god, this is gonna hurt. And it basically was wasted because, you know, no resources. Uh, I just realized we don't have our elixir on. Weak elixir of lightning resistance. I've collected the snake venom. Good, good. Good. <laughs> it will ease his wounds. But the pain of the heart, it will hurt. He will suffer. Then he will not understand. It's gonna kill him. I understand. understand. You may tell him that he is forgiven. Give Chris to Muse, uh, salve.
That looks worn. I can fix it. I don't know if it's supposed to be... I don't think there's a quest here. I think it's just... Every time I see the ghost. But every time I see the ghost, my character always says what, so it makes me think that like there's something there. You made yourself. She made herself <laughs> with her own hands. <laughs> she wasn't stuck like me. <clears throat> I can barely lift my head. <laughs> How? Swamp, take me. Yeah, give it here. I'll take her poison. Maybe it'll kill me at last. It feels... Damn you! You shriveled ass! I am surprised he's not dead. Did the salve jog your memory? I have one final ask of you. There is a shallow grave by a, a tunnel of gnarled trees. Dig it up. Burn what you find. A funeral pyre in Blackwater. Burn it there. Do this not for me. For him. He deserves better. It's been a weird quest. What have you done? Please understand. I was hurting. So much, but blood, blood helped, slowed the lines. I shouldn't, I never should have. They ran me out of town before I could burn him. <laughs> I can't even remember his name. <laughs> Find the shallow grave. <clears throat> All the way down there. In the exaggerated remains. Back to 
backwater we go. Sorry. Your loss is great. I'm sorry. Back to the Tree of Whispers. A lot of back and forth with this quest too. Because he's unfortunately so far out of the way from everything. Pretty much all the objectives except for that one was, have been though. What was he? 67. What? Every time. Burn the remains on the pyre in backwater. Oh. oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. You have done me. I've done him a kindness. How's all? His name. I remember. <laughs> Smoke over and over and over. I took Grisha's blood first. And Mitzi. So many others. Ours was only the last. Their faces. Their blood. The smoke. How could I? How could I forget? How could I forget? What will you do now? The swamp will take me soon enough. At least now. I can die knowing who I am, what I've done. I miss the fog. I miss not knowing. But it wasn't right. Just leave me be. You've given more kindness. Than I deserve. Oh, I thank you for that. What do you give me? Elixir and a murmur machine. I got what? One elixir out of that? Yeah. Well, better than nothing, I guess. All right, uh, that quest is finally put to bed and done. What do I want to do now? Brought to heal, maybe? How many side quests am I at? 30 of 50. Jesus. So this puts me at 34 once I finish these four. Still missing a fair bit of quests here. Find this red mushroom for Lemire. No sign of him yet. Damn it, Flynn. And Flynn too, I guess. Beth, I 
Flynn the Grifter. Then Flynn, guess now we're even. That drowned was Flynn. Sure was. Shame he had to go that way. Appreciate your help, though. I'm so sorry. What for? Oh, you mean Flynn? <laughs> Don't be. These things tend to happen around here. You get used to it. You have to. Backwater ain't for the faint of heart. Well, I should get going now. Here's something for your trouble. Debt repaid. Or cash. Still looking for that red mushroom for Lemire, though. I almost didn't see that there. Another quest here. Now that's a sickening bunch of mushrooms. Now I just gotta figure out how to slip a mingling soup. Boots for that. Oh, it just keeps happening. What was in the mirror's <laughs> soup? Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, oh. Hey, you. Boss wants to talk to you. Lyndon, you wanted to see me? I hear you've been making yourself useful. Might have a job for you. Last night, bandits got into town and stole from the community stockpile. I'm still looking into how. If you could get it back, you'd be helping me out. And Backwater, of course. This is Orson, my right-hand man. He'll accompany you. Handle this for me, and maybe I'll happen upon more work in the future. Who are you? Oh. I'm just an old scoundrel. I don't know if you guys remember. That's the uh, the guy from D3, though. What is this place? Backwater is a town of miscreants, outcasts, and people who don't fit in anywhere else. If you have problems and the right amount of coin, we will gladly relieve you of both. You're a criminal? Scoundrel, wanderer, handsome rogue of Kingsport, but that's all in the past. Someone had to step up to keep these wretches in line. All right, now we have another companion, Orton. Uh, we might as well head up there and find, um, find the stolen supplies with Orton. Lost my train of thought for a second there. <laughs> One of the watchmen thought he saw figures headed west that night. Not that he tried to stop them. We should head that way. All right, let's go. Here they are. Oh, 
that we stole these supplies. He threw us out of backwater. This is just what we were owed. I hope he chokes on it. Do you believe him? Uh, Lyndon wouldn't do that. He's a scoundrel, but he wouldn't backstab. I mean, he would, just not honest folk. Damn it. I think I recognized a couple of these guys from the docks. I, I, I need to clear my head. I'll see you back at Lyndon's. All right, let's head back. Here are the supplies. On behalf of Backwater, I thank you. I'll have to keep you in mind if anything new comes along. The greater good. Salvage. All right, next up. We'll do both at the same time, obviously. Let's try to find Sev south of Backwater here. We're part of that Elias quest. And we'll bring in the fresh bodies if we come across them. I need more time. Brought you some money. What's it gonna cost me? Nevro tells me you left town weeks ago with two men, Simon and Elias. I'm looking for Simon. Oh, Simon. He was sweet. I should have. He didn't want gold. That was all Elias. I have nightmares about him. About Elias's true face. I left Simon with a man I shouldn't have. Maybe I can make it up to him. Where did you leave Elias and Simon? <clears throat> it's in the southernmost part of the Fethis wetlands. I can meet you there. All right. We're gonna continue this one though, dead in the water. We have to help Damage burn fresh corpses and we have to collect the uh, salvage resources. I need more time. Play the drown and save the sailor.
It's been a while since we've uh, made that much progress to actually get a Paragon point. But we have been running around doing quests for the last little while, so it kind of makes sense. We should go. It isn't safe here. Thank the high heavens. I was starting to think someone might never come along. Are you alright? Yes, I... I believe I will be. If only I might rest a spell and get some food in me. Come with me. A, a gracious offer. I'll do my best not to slow you down. Looks like we've covered the coast. Let's get back before they run me out of town. Back to back, Walter. So, what's your story? We were looking to make landfall when out of nowhere our ship was overrun. At first, they looked just like any of us. Like you or me. Until they claimed every one of my crew. All right, sweetheart. Work's all done. Oh, how'd your drunk ass manage that? And who is this you've dredged up now? Ervin, ma'am. Pleased to meet you. My ship was attacked just offshore. These two were kind enough to rescue me. Kind? <laughs> Tomayan! Hey, I've seen you before. You were the one floating around here earlier. Wait, I see now. You didn't do this alone, did you, Tomai? You hounded this one into doing the work for you. What? No, come on. I barely even noticed him there before. Honest. Enough out of you. Now you there, tell Sylvia the truth. Uh, he's telling the truth. I didn't help him with his work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, told you so. All right, but don't think you're in the clear. I see you, Tomai. Lovely to see you as always, <laughs> Zill. Phew, <laughs> thanks. You bought me at least one more day in this place. Maybe you should stay. You'll meet the boss. Be good to have you around. Now I've already met the boss. Have a moment. Got a job for you. I'll take the job. <laughs> I knew you'd be interested. Meet me out back and I'll give you the details. And of course, um, in the name of discretion, I trust that uh, this will stay between us. Hmm? Fine. Run your little errand. I'll be making sure Rodney's not flapping his mouth again. Good. Uh, just don't kill him. Make things quiet. <laughs> oh, if we killed every person who ran their mouth, backwater would be empty before sunrise. <laughs> mm. All right. Nothing lethal. Swear it. I'm here. Now what's going on? My apologies for the runaround. With how boisterous Backwater's been lately, we're drawing some unwanted attention to our humble town. You see, officially, it's not on any maps. And to keep it that way, I've set up a deal my more bloodthirsty brethren might not want to approach so diplomatically. I have the supplies stashed nearby. We find it, pay off the lawman, and you get an easy payday. Uh, 
someone must have found my stash, unless it... Oh, wait. Nope, I don't think this is the spot. But don't you give me that look? I'm old. My note says the location should ring a bell. What the hell does that even mean? I was sitting there like, who the fuck is that? Alright, well I hate to tell you the truth, Lyndon, but we're not going up there just yet. I wanna come down here. Do that dun do what? <laughs> do that dungeon. Or I can go back that way and meet uh Sev outside or set Ezret. Go do that first. She's ready for whatever you need. Not in town. Are you all right? Hell, I shouldn't have come. There weren't so many demons before. Goliath did this, didn't he? In all likelihood. All right. We were digging in a chapel, just there. Let's go. Bro, how did I not know this? There's a whole fucking part of the map here that is an explorer. <laughs> it's like a perfect... <laughs> it's a perfect circle, too. Halls of Dark Portent. I really appreciate the foreground and background details. You can even see some of it moving down there too. Ghouls. <laughs> 
you. Fucking ass. I was wondering what hit me with so much damage. Fucking succubus. <laughs> Keep going. I am out of a uh, elixir. begin <laughs> bridge of an anticipation I don't like how far it fucking zoomed out must have gotten through this door somehow. Break down the door. Okay. gonna do that so I didn't want to waste really any resources on it. It's only ghouls I'm fighting right now but you never know. <clears throat> I'm gonna wait a second till all my resources are ready so I can actually run up and Few more seconds. Cause you know we're gonna fight something. Blood petals. This is what Elias was looking for. This is where he summoned Lilith. See, I thought that door was familiar too. That's uh interesting. Cause that the beginning of the uh the game. Or, no, maybe it wasn't the beginning, I don't really remember now, it's been a while. I gotta make sure he doesn't hit me with that one attack. That one. Because he will fucking kill me with it if he hits me. Drop an epic <laughs> or legendary. Oh, no. <sighs> <Poor> Simon. <clears throat> he deserved better than Elias. I woke this morning to find that Sev has fled our company. She was harrowed by the dreams that haunt us all. I suppose it got to be too much for her. I dislike our remaining companions. The feeling I fear is mutual. Elias insists we need them, 
The knowledge we seek is well guarded and we cannot fight our way through alone. In the name of knowledge, I must accept them. Poor bastard. Hidden's corpse. corpse. His body was pulled apart slowly, although no weapon marks are visible. The ritualistic symbols on his terrified face seem to have erupted from beneath the skin. What a horrible way to die. Gala's corpse. Her body was pulled apart from within. Internal organs, flesh, even skin is missing in large swathes. Her face is frozen in a hateful snarl. Whatever killed her, she fought it until the very end. Can I look at his body? Nope. Alright, well, we're done here, so I'm just gonna... Leave dungeon and then TP. <clears throat> All the way back to Zarbinzet. Turn to Father Dimas. Yeah, see, when we got to that door, I thought for sure that was the door from the beginning. Simon is dead. His search for knowledge ended in tragedy. No. Oh, God. I had some hope. I'm so sorry. I managed to collect some of his writings. I thought you might like this. A thing to remember him by. Thank you. Oh, God, my foolishness. I shouldn't have let him go. This wasn't your fault, but the man responsible, Elias, is gone. A poor comfort to me, but it would comfort Simon. Thank you for bringing me back what was left of him. Alright. Now that I'm back in uh, Zarbinzet, though, I can extract the gems. Out of the rings and actually I can also upgrade Put that in that Yeah, see, now that it's upgraded, it's actually worth more in terms of, like, the maximum life I have and stuff like that. <clears throat> I need more uh, Forgotten Souls, but I have to go to the Helltides, basically. The only way to really get it. Um, yeah. Drop that in there. Don't need anything from down there. There's one back. So if I really wanted to, I could upgrade one of these rings fully. Might be a good idea. Are your hands clean? Look, but don't touch. Beautiful and handy. All right, so looking at the map here, I want to do the faceless shrine before we head north into uh, this last area.
I don't know why it took me around the back like that. Very odd. It's gonna be a crappy one. Free the prisoners should be five of them. I'm going as fast as I can. You're the one who said it didn't mean. I'm not ready. Exactly what I hoped for, but take it nonetheless. I landed right in that and I did not mean to. Also, not where I want to be right now. It's time to recharge. I definitely need a new weapon because I can tell that I'm not not doing the damage I should be doing. <clears throat> Oh, these guys are beefy as fuck, one of the two. <laughs> and they could just be beefy. Worst part is I seen that mine and I didn't want to move because we we're in the middle of combat. As soon as I seen the guy step on it, I was like, ah, oh, there it goes. He just charged full sprint at me. I just stepped to the left and he just fucking walked in my poison trap. It's kind of funny.
so beefy. It's insane. But look at the experience I'm getting for this. Like, this is good experience. <clears throat> Bless you. Door has been unsealed. Got 105, but it's definitely noticeable that I have just that much, like, a little bit more. Oh, it's a good thing I had thorns, because he was just going to fucking kill me otherwise. I think this might be my least favorite dungeon type only just because of how open concept it is. Basically, if it's not ancestral, it's not better. <laughs> I've come to find. I didn't even have a chance to move. So there's going to be a boss. Found the last blood obelisk already too.
time to recharge. At one point, I was like, oh yeah, you know, I can run in there and take some of it. Nope. As soon as I seen how much there was actually in that fucking room. I got trapped literally in between the walls. The wall was there and there, and I was in the middle. It's the only reason I died that time. Because I just seen that drop. Need more time. Nice. Snap Frozen Archon Helm. Ancestral Legendary Helm. 802 item power. 1002 armor. It's 82 more than what I have. Plus 16 all stats. 38 to willpower. 28% poison uh, resistance. 29.5 shadow resistance. Each chilled or frozen enemy you evade uh through grants you a barrier that absorbs 431 damage for five seconds absorbing up to a maximum of 2153 damage also socketed i will take it looks stupid as hell though with my uh my character More armor is definitely required right now, though. <clears throat> Better stats is always nice, too. For obvious reasons. Played. You know what I do miss though? Having like five dodges. It's probably the one thing I would really want right now. Just more evades. Evade charges anyways. Like I have the Caltrop, so it's kind of like an evade, but not really. Stopped in front of me, he said bye. <clears throat> I 
<clears throat> That's the last corner too. Last group of enemies. Whoa, that almost incinerated me. What the fuck? Fuck, man, I couldn't do anything fast enough. Holy hell. be here can i move fuck i was literally just standing there like if i'm stunned at least show me that i'm stunned <laughs> fucking glitch animation where i'm just standing there That did not look like an armor rack. There might be like a couple guys left over here, but that should be it for this floor. Okay. To the boss. Of what I'm going to find, though. <laughs> she can be extremely annoying, so I am actually going to be very careful. That was the worst time for that. Fuck! You gotta be fucking kidding me, man. Fucking bullshit. <sighs> fucking st and I absolutely. <laughs> Bro, I'm gonna rage. <sighs> I didn't think it was gonna fucking outright kill me, like. I figured if I just stood there, I'd be able to fucking kill her before she killed me. Absolute fucking annoying, man. Now I wait, because I need that. <clears throat> and I can't even really rely on inner sight. Because for the amount of damage output I can get in that slight period of time, bro, the amount of damage she does, it's kind of scary. See? You gotta be fucking kidding me. <sighs> fucking hell, man. Oh, 
Okay, I did not think I was right fucking there. Fuck me. Fucking piece of shit. I gotta go fucking back to town. I can break that down. Well, <clears throat> are your hands clean? Look, but don't touch. You need two. I think it was emerald that gives thorns. Yeah. This would be for maximum life. I don't... Well, maybe, actually. Damn it. DT. Thorns. I don't know if I want a ruby for maximum life or if I want the thorns. What would that give me? I'm gonna go anything I should go the emerald for more thorns. I forgot that I would probably be say level 60. Where the fuck was it then? There's no way. That came apart nicely. Put that in there for ultimate skill damage. Res to all elements. It's not really a point to have a gems tab. Like, I feel like I should just break all those down. Not want to walk through that. Bitch. <clears throat> I can 
can't do that. I remember when this fight wasn't that bad. I'm trying to get by her. Like, I was clicking behind her. You can't fucking tell me I'm still hitting her. Thank God. And I got some boots for it. Thank you. Made it worth my while. Windstriker, Bone Weave, Threads, Ancestral, Legendary uh, Boots, 816 item power, 408 armor, that's 39 more. Attacks uh, reduce evades cooldown by 0.8 seconds, so it's a little bit lower, but it's unupgraded. Uh, 11 all stats, 23.5% fire resistance, uh, 3 ranks of dash, and 2 ranks of caltrops. Critical strikes grant 14% movement speed for 1 second up to 6 seconds. What I don't have. I need uh, gloves, pants, range weapon, and amulet still. <clears throat> then I'm in full ancestral. That took a fucking long time to do that dungeon too. That's the worst part. Did it have a socket? No, it didn't. Uh, let's go back to backwater. It's already at 1.1% or 1.1 seconds for attacks reducing cooldown. Forge awaits your return. Uh, I want to talk to the healer too. Of course, they're on the other side of town. I thought I took an elixir. Where did it go? I swear I took an elixir in town. That's really fucking weird. There's still three more dungeons. Apparently I'm mixing six areas I haven't explored yet. Might as well go up here and talk to this person. Who are you looking for? 
run off while indebted to me. Four bodies I was promised. His shy one. What did he think I wouldn't notice? I'm too busy to hunt him down myself. The tree's demands are many. Find this, Shamir. Before Wedgin Honey is reminded what it means to anger a witch. He was supposed to be in the graveyard. Start there. Who are you exactly? <clears throat> we met him before, Question. but... Questions show you have wit. Names don't matter when you serve the Tree of Whispers. Our usefulness matters. But you can call me Zerk. In another life, I begged as a child on the Chaldean streets. Then the tree called me, gave me purpose, named me a witch. That's what I am now. Do you know Taisa? Of course, <clears throat> of course, little Taisa. Always a source of comfort and wisdom to this old man. I haven't heard from her in a while, though. She must be busy in the West. Or maybe she's just forgotten about me. What do you know about, uh, Gullius? Ha! Young and clever. And that always comes with a slight hint of arrogance. I wasn't like that in my youth, I can promise you. No, 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 no. I was never bright enough. <laughs> Too busy trying to steal enough coin from Chaldeum nobles to buy bread. I've met the Tree of Whispers. I sensed it long before you graced my threshold. It's magic, it's scent, unmistakable. But you didn't make a deal for its knowledge. How interesting. How is the tree? Do the heads still bicker like old maids? <laughs> Why are you in such a rush? The Tree of Whispers is displeased. You should know the weight of that. Funny thing is, I was just where he wanted me to look for that person. One more area. Way up this way. There it is. For all of Hauzar. For all of Estar. Map is a hundred percent explored. <clears throat> oh, I'm not ready yet. All right, let's meet Lyndon's contacts. We have the supplies. And it was an ambush. What just happened? Lyndon, you son of a bitch. You said you had the locals handled. Well, I'd say they look rather handled, wouldn't you? How do you propose we explain that our peaceful expedition resulted in the death of a crusader? Now, now, let's just take a minute here. You need only split those supplies two ways now. I say I did you a favor. Lyndon. Of course, 
I don't mind feeding the swan two more pitiful crusaders to keep Backwater safe. We get the hint, and we'll take our leave. But this arrangement won't survive much longer. That could have gone better. Agreed. So much for discretion. And I was careful to speak about this deal to a select few. Which means we have a rat. Meet me in backwater when you can. Seems there's more work to be done. Lucky you. Can you fuck off? I don't fucking care. <laughs> Solve the notes riddle. I found a strange note with the traveler's superstitious ritual described on it and the boon that she received. Could it work for me? There's um, usually a way to... Usually a re way to replay the uh, the note, but I guess I could just reread it. Pay your respects to her, and she will see you safely on your way. Ignore her and suffer the fear of those poor fools. Excuse me. Oh, I'm gonna fucking pull half of this area just to do this. I appreciate that. Well done. Greetings. left <sighs> gotta figure out what I want to do here <clears throat> might take another break I might just stop. I don't know. We did fully explore the map. That was what I wanted to do. I do have a little bit left to do. So have at least three more dungeons. A handful of quests. Let's at least pick up this quest. Because I'm going to forget otherwise. I bet you it's just this person. After what happened. I can handle myself, Autumn. You'd have never walked into a trap like that before. Let alone open the door for it to happen again. <sighs> Don't worry. Should I be mortally wounded, I'll stay alive just long enough to deliver my crossbow to you. <laughs> You'd better. You have another job for me? Ah, you're here. Ready to go shake some hands? Let's talk at the usual spot. Beat the trap. Shall we? Don't want to keep them waiting. I assume you have a plan? Mm, a terribly clever one at that. I've talked up a deal in different parts of Backwater just loud enough to be heard, but, and here's the good part, with different locations each. All we need do is wait at those locations, and where we get ambushed tells us who the rat is. Our first is just up ahead, though I'll put 20 gold on it, it's the second where we get jumped. 
And if we get jumped at all locations? <laughs> uh, um... I didn't mean to go down there. I'm going to be I'll be right back. I'm going to take another break and then when we come back I want to continue on. I want to finish what we've got going on here and then if we do one more session after that it's going to be kind of clean up. Maybe. Maybe I'll just end it. Because we still have 12 more quests. Three more dungeons. It's been about six hours. Yeah, I think we're just going to end it here. Instead. And then when we come back. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll mop up the rest of Hawazar. <clears throat> in terms of dungeons at least. Try to do all the quests here. I still have missing quests, which means I have to do another rotation of the map to try to find these quests, pick them up. Um, I want to go back to tier 3 because I want to clean up all of these. But I have to be on world tier 3. I do want to use the black and femur at some point and try to fight that. But obviously with the way things are going right now, I want to be as close to said level as possible. So if it's 75, I want to wait until I'm at least you know, 74 to do it. But... Yeah, so we're definitely going to have at least one more Diablo 4 stream. Maybe two, we'll, we'll see. Depends on, you know, how long I go for our next stream. But I'll probably finish up our playthrough in the next stream. Like I said, I want to at least complete all side quests, complete the last three dungeons here, try to do any of this other stuff that we have going on, and then that will be it for the playthrough, I feel like. And then we're on to uh, other games. Unfortunately, like I was saying earlier, though, I don't know when I will be streaming next, unfortunately. Uh, we've been keeping it kind of consistent with Sundays, but I know next Sunday I will be busy. So it might be the week after that. So we're looking at two weeks out from now. So let me open up my calendar here. So the next stream might be April 28th. If ever go, everything goes according to plan. Also, like I was saying earlier, if you see me streaming something in the midst... Uh, it's just because, you know, I'm just playing something and I want to kind of do a stream of it, but it won't be a continuation of this. Most likely not, though, because I have new games that I'm going to be working on soon. Uh, like I was saying earlier, Diablo 1 is going to be the next series after Ghostwire Tokyo. And then I have an indie game after that, and then we're going to be back with Far Cry 3, so. Tons of stuff still, but yeah. Anyways, uh, thanks AB, like always, for being here. Thanks to everyone who was lurking. Thanks to everyone checking it out after the fact. And yeah, we'll be back in a couple weeks to finally put Diablo 4 to bed because this has been almost a year-long <laughs> project. And uh, it would be nice to kind of bring it to a close. As, as bittersweet as that is, I do enjoy playing the game, even though today has been rage-inducing and so had the last... Uh, the last part of the last one, but it's fun overall. Anyway, so thanks everyone. I'll see you later. Bye.